In this video then we'll focus on Mulvaney distance, questions I'll put in the description and if you answer those then have a look uh, through my annotations and listen to my answers and see if you're right with them. Uh, the quotations in pink are the ones that I'd suggest you probably memorize for any upcoming tests or exams in your GCSE. So to start off with, Mulvaney distance is written by Simon Armitage, it's written from his perspective and it's about him moving into his first, uh, his first home and his mother helping him basically do all the decorations and measure the place up uh, for any kind of modifications that they need to do. So to start off, Bobby says, Mother, any distance greater than a single span requires a second pair of hands, your first sentence. Well, a span is a very, very small measurement, basically. It's only the distance between your little finger and the tip of your thumb, basically. So it's pretty small, just over 20 centimeters. And so what he's suggesting here is that he can't get very far from his mother before she tries to intervene or try to help, basically. So he's not very independent, and this poem is all about him growing um, a little bit more independent, a little bit more independent of his mother. He goes on to say, you come to help me measure windows, palmets, doors, the acres of the walls, the prairies of the floors. So the imagery here, the acres of the walls and the prairies of the floors, suggests that there's a great amount of space. Acres is huge, and prairies as well, these great big open wild fields, suggest that his new home feels like he's got masses and masses of space. And so maybe he's using this to exaggerate the amount of space in his new house compared to his previous living conditions, where he maybe felt a little bit more stifled if he were living at home with his parents, maybe even his mother there as well. Moving on, he talks about you at the zero end, and the you is a reference to his mother. And the zero end is really interesting because the zero end is basically probably because that's, um, well, ever since she's been around, the zero end, right from the start, basically. So right from his birth, she's always been there. And he, with the spool of tape, recording length, reporting meters, centimeters back to base, and then leaving up the stairs. So the idea of him being on the other end and moving further and further away is him growing a little bit more and more independent. I've heard it suggested that the spool of tape is a bit of imagery which resembles an umbilical cord and how he gets further and further away until eventually he basically gets detached from his uh, mother, which is an okay bit of uh, analysis. I think it's okay. I think it works. I like the idea of uh, centimeters back to base. The idea of calling his mother base says that she's stable and that he can rely on her, basically, which is quite a nice bit of imagery. He moves on then to say, then leaping up the stairs, the line still feeding out, unreeling years between us. And it's interesting because it's now not just a measurement in terms of distance, but it becomes years. And so the separation becomes more than just distance between the two of them. It becomes time between the two of them. So as he gets older, the more independent he gets, the further away from his mother he gets. Later then, he says these two words, anchor and kite, two minor sentences, two sentences which are just one word on their own. The idea is that she probably is the anchor and he is probably the kite. And an anchor has two different meanings, really. In one hand, it's a really nice positive bit of imagery because she keeps him safe. So when he's uh, basically an anchor is used on the boat, when he's in dock, uh, it keeps him from rattling and hitting uh, all the other boats around, the shore, uh, the docks and those kind of things, so it keeps him safe. However, it also keeps him pinned down. And the idea is that he would like to be a kite. So kites are used for flying, basically, and for enjoyment, and he'd like to be free. And if a kite has got an anchor, it means that it's not independent. And so there could be a negative connotation to that as well. Moving on then, he talks about, I space walk through the empty bedrooms. So this bit of imagery is really quite nice. The idea of him space walking through the empty bedrooms suggests that he no longer has uh, the same amount of gravity that he used to have. And the gravity would probably be represented from uh, his mother, who kind of pins him down, keeps him to the earth. And so the idea that he's now space walking suggests that he feels less gravity, he's getting more independent because he's got much more freedom of movement. He's not pinned down by things like gravity. He talks about he climbs to the, uh, the ladder to the loft, to the breaking point, where something has to give. So the breaking point is the distance between him and his mother, and something's got to give. It's going to come undone, basically. 
he goes on to say, two floors below your fingertips still pinch the last one hundredth of an inch. So the idea of using that verb pinch is really interesting because she is desperately clutching onto her son, still pinching with the tiniest bit of uh, grip that she still has while T's trying to get away. So the last one hundredth of an inch, this tiny measurement. So he basically is escaping and she's still trying to clutch hold of him, keep hold of him. You then have these ellipses, the dot dot dot, and that suggestion there is that this is where she actually loses her grip, the dot 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 there, these ellipses. He goes on to say, I reach towards a hatch that, that opens on an endless sky to fall or fly. And you've got a really nice bit of imagery here, a hatch um, and to fall or fly kind of refers to hatchlings. So young birds, when they finally learn to fly, they basically get pushed out of the nest and they have to learn to fly on the way down when they're falling. So it's a risk and he's willing to take that risk to find his independence from his mother. And that's what you've got, this bit of imagery here. It's a risk, but he's willing to take it and he wants this independence from his mother.